First time in a long time, I'm sure these have come off. All this stuff will get cleaned up, of course. Let's hear it pop off. good or bad these look but they're not looking horrible there's a lot of shit in there though you can tell how caked up this is with old oil you run that old motor after a long time and that's what happens though you can see here if I can just lay those fun guys down those will be painted nice and stuff look at this yeah I ran it for a while it ran good, but look at that. That's all inside the engine. Inside the the oil galleys and such. And even still. Yeah, you run it for a while. You could definitely clean out the engine, but look. This is all, I could tell it's old, old oil underneath there. You could see the way the oil pan was. Same way. Engine didn't run that horrible. I mean, it was great. It ran me ran a year, won some awards, got me some car shows. But look at that. This is a Dodge 230 Flathead Six, and you're looking at after sitting for 27 years. Even though I cleaned out the oil pan, it's dirty, and I can kind of get an idea there of the cam. You see one of the lobes there. Yeah, actually, scratch that, this is a crank. I apologize. Maybe it's not. No, it's the cam. I'm right. It's a fucking cam. Anyways. So, can't wait to get this apart. Also, I'm going to hone this, or uh, go get a grinder and cut those holes out. And, um, what the hell, Mom? I can't think of the words. It's late. But uh, we're going to go ahead and make these holes even right there. Get rid of all that with a Dremel tool. There we go, Dremel. So, beginning, get all cleaned up. You can see, new part, not new. Stuff like that. There's some dude on the internet that does a uh, rebuild of the oil pumps. I'm going to, he's got new ones that are better, that run more efficient. So this block's going to have to be rebuilt. Tore down, I'm doing that on Monday, uh, next week. In my new college class for night school on how to build engines. This is a 53 Dodge engine block. It's not the original that goes with the car, unfortunately. I wish it was. I talked to the original owner. He said he didn't have the block anymore. Brand new water pump. We'll take this off, clean it up, see if we can't get it all nice and shiny. Look how gross it is in there. You can even see down into the uh, into it. It's just gross. Everything's gross in this engine. Put new parts on it to kind of get it going, which worked out for a while. But after you get a new transmission and you get a new, uh, what well, you get a new uh, rear end rebuild, you just got to do the engine. There's no point in doing all that. Do a lot of other things here. Things are coming. You can see here on that cross member, there are rivets there against the frame. Those are going to get ground off and made into bolts, so that way that cross member comes out, makes it easy to just drop that motor in. Because that right there is the biggest pain in the ass to have in the way when you're trying to put that block into this car. Uh, so, other than that, car's sitting out here sitting pretty. I'm going to get these frame rails cleaned up a little bit. Clean up some of that wiring there that's been uh, eluding me. This is the cord that's going to be the push-pull for the transmission overdrive. Uh... Other than that, I gotta clean the firewall, clean the cowl, a lot of stuff going on here. Car ran great, won some shows, won cruising grand, and uh, won another best vintage over there. However, um, the engine needs to be cleaned up, so that's what's coming. Stay tuned.